both uh, setting fast text and animations off to save time, and uh, the, sh the shift setting for battles, um, because when they catch Nidoran, um, they're going to want to have the prompt to switch in and out every turn to get Nidoran more experience on the Brock fight. Yeah. <clears throat> After that, they'll, uh, they'll actually menu to actually put it on, on set, so they uh, they won't ever switch out again. Yeah, hopefully, if they remember. Sometimes you forget. <laughs> yeah. You get, that, you get to the first minor round three, and, and it asks you every time, and you just lose like 15 seconds. Uh, both opt to pick up the PC potion, just for safety against uh, the rival. Yeah, uh... You can be in a pretty bad situation if you die to this first rival fight. Uh, the game actually lets you continue. Uh, I think this is the only fight where the game lets you continue on uh, as if you hadn't died. But you miss out on the yeah. money, and you also, more importantly, you miss out on the experience. You get, I believe, 67 experience from this fight. Yeah, basically one and a half level, I believe. Yeah, and uh, you need uh, so like you need this experience, and you need to fight one more thing on rat one. <laughs> Uh, to get uh, to make sure Squirtle is going to hit level eight at Brock, so you can use Bubble to defeat Brock quickly. If you miss out on this experience, then uh, you have to do around four encounters to make up for it, which yeah. is a huge time sink. It's slow, and you know we're not trying to be slow, so yeah. So PC potions definitely um, a good way to minimize risk. Yeah, it, it costs, I think, maybe 10 seconds or so. It costs even. like 7 seconds. Yeah, so it, it's better to get like 7 seconds to get the potion than to fight a few more encounters, because they are generally a lot slower. Yeah, dying to rival is actually pretty rare. It doesn't happen very often, but um, it's you're in a very bad situation when it does. There's a, there's a lot of strategies that you'll do in races to um, try and prevent things like this from happening. Uh, things that aren't very common, uh, but will cost you minutes if you do get unlucky. Um, so you've gotten a couple of growls. You don't want to see growls in this fight because um, they'll lower your attack and... Uh, you won't be doing very much damage to Bulbasaur. Ah. Uh, ooh. I thought Quill would actually have the kill there, but... He... He had just had too many growls. Yeah, he got a lot of growls. Uh, Hasselbox's fight wasn't too bad. Ah, uh, better. I didn't see what their Squirtle stats were, unfortunately. I didn't catch it. Neither did I. I, I only know they both had, like, 20 health at level 5. For all that's worth. Um, I didn't see their Squirtle stats, but if anyone else did, then uh, what you want to look for is whether they have 11 or 12 special at level 6. Because um, if they have 12 special at level 6, then they're guaranteed to have at least 14 or 15 special at level 8 for Brock. Yeah. And that will let them 2-shot each of Brock's Pokemon instead of 3-shot, which makes that fight a lot less dangerous. I think Hassel had a uh, a one encounter route one, but it was a level four Reddit uh, Reddit test, so he opted not to fight it. Because well, a level four Reddit test is actually pretty strong. Yeah. Cruel getting a level two Pidgey on the other hand, which is an easy kill. So. Yeah, you definitely want a level two or a level three to fight. Uh, you want to be able to three hit the Pokemon. Um, if it's a Pokemon that you're gonna take four hits to kill, then you want to run away from it in hopes of getting a better encounter. Because you're yeah. you're likely going to get another one, because you have to pass through that one three times. And uh, we see Hassel actually going to the back of Professor Oak before talking to him uh, with the parcel in hand. Um, and that's actually done to make Gary walk up uh, one space more, I believe, or... Something uh, like... No, he has to walk one space less when he goes down. That was it. Yes. Uh, Rule actually opting to do the exact same thing. It saves... Well, it doesn't save that much, but... You know, every time save is a time save. Yeah, I think it saves about half a second, maybe. 
Uh, so you can yeah. either, in, in Red and Blue, you can either um, talk to Oak from the side or from behind. They both save the same amount of time. And uh, I personally prefer the side, because it's easier. Yeah. Um, but in Yellow, you have to... Uh, in Yellow, you actually have do have to do it from behind, because um, if you do it from the side, then uh, Pikachu will occupy the space that the rival is supposed to occupy. Um, and I know, I know Hassel also runs yellow, so... Yeah. Um, that might be the reason he opted to do that. Yeah. I wonder, did Hassel actually get a fight? Um, I don't think he did. I don't, I don't think he did. Um, Krill's getting another encounter. Running away from it. Hassel gonna save and uh, go to the manip. Yep, it looks like he's going for um, the the standard FFEF minip, which is um, the best Nidoran you can get at this point. Um, or at any point, really. Um, so he's saving and resetting to... Uh, and he's going to walk a very specific path to manipulate the RNG to always get him the same encounter, the same Nidoran, and yeah. hopefully always be able to get it in the ball first try. And it looks like uh, he actually forgot to um, uh, forgot to swap the potion to slot. Oh no, he didn't forget. He's good. Yeah, cool. Or... Actually, I think to do the, the the somewhat easier manip. Yeah, Curl's doing the the FBE one, which is um, uh, it's a slightly worse Nito. It has a slightly worse defense and special. Which uh, are probably the two least important stats. So, yeah, uh, Hassel getting a sub seven Nido, which is pretty good, I would say. That's actually really good for Minip, but I not also think that the... he did not. I don't yeah, think he, he managed fight. to fight something. That is a thing. So he still needs an encounter. Um, he's skipping the potion in the tree because uh, he already has the potion from the PC, which he didn't use in the rival fight. So he's yeah. up one from what he normally would be at right now. And Cruel managing to catch his Nidor in. Yeah, Hassel walking a very specific path in the in the forest as well to prevent uh, encounters, because the encounters with the flowers at the bottom right corner, I believe, can't produce an encounter for you, so... For that reason, he'll walk like the path that he's walking. I am wondering how he'll actually do XP-wise now, because I don't think he fought an extra encounter. I did see that he walked through the grass in Route 2 to try and get another encounter, and it looks yeah. like he didn't get one. Um, so uh, he's going to be level 7 after this fight instead of level 8. And uh, and to fix that, uh, he's going to have to just get an encounter north of the forest. Oh, getting uh, Hassel getting poisoned from a uh, critical hit poison sting. Getting poisoned in this fight is pretty unlucky because it you have additional text boxes every turn, which wastes time. Yeah. Cruel now also starting the fight, so it also looked like he got a low damage roll. Um, but I think he's in range to four hit this fight, so he should be good. There we go. He levels up to level 7. Alright, I'm gonna try and not miss his Squirtle stats this time if he... Oh, he didn't check them. So still not sure what his Squirtle stats are, but yeah, he is a level 7 now, so he does still have to fight the extra encounter. Also needs to heal Squirtle and heal the poison off. Um, you don't want to you don't want to use the antidote during the fight because Weedle can just poison you again, and then you don't have an antidote anymore, so you're screwed. Uh, not sure if Cruel got a critical hit or a low roll. Uh, yeah. but Jen, uh, oh, he got he he got a critical hit now. Yeah. Um, so you tail whip this Weedle twice uh, to lower its defense. And Cruel Squirrel has fifteen special. Oh, that that's fifteen special, seventeen defense. That is a very good Squirtle. Yeah. Um, seventeen defense uh, is the highest you can have at this point. So. 
Um, he shouldn't have that much trouble uh, with Brock, I guess. Yeah, so he'll take like 6 to 7 damage from a, a Geodude tackle. Uh, so Gruel's in great shape for the Brock fight. He will two hit both of the Pokemon. Uh, Hassel, unfortunately, having to fight a level 4 Pidgey, which is taking a bit longer than a weaker encounter would. Um, but, I couldn't see this. I think he skipped them himself. Uh, yeah, he, he skipped them. Cruel making barely. a safety save. Hassel going marked first now, because, well, he took a lot of damage. Yeah, you have the option here to go to the mark first and uh, buy some potions early on. Um, uh, because if you if you go to the Brock fight without a potion, um, you're risking getting tackled multiple times in the Geodude, and uh, possibly dying to a bad combination of Screech and Tackle from Onyx. Yep. Taking seven damage from the tackle on Cruel side. Both of them saved before Brock, just in case. Yeah, definitely a good move to save before Brock in races. So both of them are, are switching Nito in and out on each Pokemon, so that Nito gets uh, the necessary XP to learn Horn Attack at level 8. Uh, so it can properly fight the encounters on, or the trainers on Route 3, rather. Um, okay, Cruel cool. getting hit down to 7 HP, uh, and he's choosing to heal to be safe. Um, he bubbles on the same turn that Onyx starts his nice. bite, but since he's two, since he's two shotting Onyx, that won't be a problem yeah. for him. Um, it looks like Hasselbox, uh, Squirtle has bad special, so Onyx yeah. might be scary for him. Cruel made fast work of Brock and can now add on to uh, my fav my my least favorite route of the game, I think. Route three. Especially that, that guy that wears shorts. That that's uh Oh, double screeched by oh Onyx. Uh, he's gonna die to a tackle now. Uh so Hassel's potioning to make sure that he doesn't die. And with okay. that, Hassel actually does it as well. Yeah, he's he's perfectly good now. Actually getting two speed falls on Onyx, so he goes first on the last turn. Um, I just refreshed, hopefully I'm a bit more on sync <laughs> now. And our Cruel starts his first fight on Route 3. <laughs> Nothing scary on that fight, it's just... Uh, a few bugs. I believe it's two caterpies and a weedle. Shouldn't be too scary. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of bugs in the game, uh, and about half of them are on Route 3, and the other half are in the game's coding. <laughs> yeah, Cruel uh, using Leer uh, first turn to actually lower the defense of the caterpie, so you can actually two shot it with Horn Attack. Um, uh, that doesn't. That doesn't all. That's not always a two shot. Um, it isn't, but. In his case, it was. Uh, so these uh, these string shots um, are actually uh, raising their attack a little bit. And how that works is uh, there's a mechanic in Gens 1 to 3 called the badge boost. Uh, certain gym leaders, once you acquire their badge, you'll get um, a 12.5% boost to one of your stats. Uh, Brock's badge, the boulder badge, gives you that boost to attack. And uh, what happens in Gen 1 is anytime one of your stats gets modified, um, every other stat has its badge boost reapplied. Um, so it stacks. So each time they're getting each time they're getting string shotted, their attack's actually going up. Um, so that can help with things like uh, two shotting that first Caterpie. If you don't get a string shot, you're not likely to kill it in two shots. Uh, yeah, cool saving. Yeah, smart yep. move. Because uh, Shorts guy, as uh, most of us call him, you know, he's not yeah. a fun fight. And Cruel actually manipped um, the False God Nido that has uh, lower defense than Hassel's Nido. So 
Uh, this fight is a bit more of a risk. Raditz can do a lot of damage, especially with Quick Attack, and it also knows Tail Whip. Um, so Tail Whip and Quick Attack can be a very bad combination. That can actually get you stuck in a heal loop. Um, he needs to heal this turn yeah. so that he doesn't uh, get hit by Quick Attack. And I see uh, a lot of people in chat are already uh, joking about the uh, shorts guy, that the uh, shorts are uh, easy and comfy to wear. Well, I have to admit, they are. And now the worst Pokémon of this route, I think, the Ekans. On Cruel's side. Yeah. This Ekans was so bad before a minute when you weren't always faster than it because it could just wrap you infinitely. And even yeah. now, wrap is uh, wrap is um, not a fun thing to deal with. Yeah, but Cruel gets by with that one. Let's see if uh, Hassel actually has the same amount of luck. Seems like he has. Yep. Just need to survive two turns, and he's good. This next fight is hardly a threat at all. Um, it, it's annoying. The, the, the Kakuna and the Metabot are just straight out annoying. Yeah, uh, what you don't want to see in this fight is you don't want to get a uh, String Shot twice. Um, because then you end up slower than Kakuna and Metapod. Since they only know Harden, they're always going to use that. And it, so if you're slower, they'll get off a of Harden and increase their defense before you can attack. Which lowers which your cost... damage output. Yeah, and it costs you more horn attacks. Which, yeah. Yeah. If you if you use too many of them, uh, it actually makes the last fight a little bit tricky. Yeah, you're actually uh, you can actually be at risk of running out in this fight. Uh, so actually, we'll see. Um, I saw Hassel practicing uh, the Mega Punch RNG manip in Mount Moon. Ooh. So. Um, we'll see if he fights this last after the bug catcher. Um, cause, uh, that route, he fight that you fight this last instead of fighting one of the trainers in Mount Moon. Uh, you fight this last instead of the last in Mount Moon, I guess. Yeah, and I think, I think you also skip the, I can't remember. No, I think you fight the super nerd. Hmm. Yeah, you fight the super nerd, and I'm then... I'm not all too familiar with that route, but... I'm not really either. Uh, he's not fighting the last, so it looks like he's not doing that. Um, actually, no, he wasn't... I forget if he was practicing Mega Punch or if he was practicing um, a different manip. Perhaps he was just trying to practice his, uh, his regular moon manip. Just to make sure he, uh, he had it. And Cruel finishing off the last trainer on, uh, on Route 3. Now, according to Hammer, Hassel actually practiced both of the manips. Yeah, Mega Punch, uh, the Mega Punch manip is uh, significantly more difficult execution wise. Cruel getting his uh, his flyer. Uh, did Hassel get his? Oh no, he didn't. He's going into no. the second grass patch. Yeah. He's got a level five Spiro, so he's actually poison stinging it instead of tackling it. Um, because that has no chance to kill a tackle. Crit can actually kill the level five Spiro. Cruel healing, uh, healing up his Pokemon before entering the Mount Moon. Yeah, this center. Uh, 
the center is important if you're not uh, getting the Mega Punch TM because uh, you expend all of your Horn Attack PP on Route 3, so you need to get it back. Um, so it looks like they're both going to be going for the post last minute. Um, they'll fight the Super Nerd, pick up the items, they'll fight the last here. And then they'll do an RNG manipulation to get no encounters until the next rocket. Um, a lot, they'll actually manipulate a Paris right before it to catch for use as a cut slave. And um, it looks like Cruel Stream has frozen. Yeah, his stream might have gone down. He might be having internet issues. Oh, and Hassel. Oh, dang. I was about to say, Hassel getting the level 8 Paris there would be, you know. Wouldn't be a bad thing to catch it, but he killed it. Yeah, I think I would have caught it actually, um, but he poison stings it to get uh, the experience from it. Doesn't kill this Zubat, um, which I also find interesting. Um. <laughs> Fiesel with uh, where the joke that Cruel was actually playing Pokemon Black. weren't we weren't we joking about that because of his yeah. monochrome palette anyways? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, seems like he's having internet issues because he left. Uh, the IRC uh, channel as well. The IRL channel. Ah, Cruel should be back apparently. So it was his internet crashing out on him. Yeah, it happens. So that Paris that Hassel killed uh, will get him some XP. Uh, if you can manage to get 138 uh, experience from random encounters in Mount Moon, then that will provide some benefits later in the run. Uh, mostly, um, you'll actually level Nido King to 23 and get the move Thrash a fight early. And you'll level up in uh, a couple spots that... Um, it generally some... gives more safety. Yeah. Um, you'll level up before the Pikachu on, Sur on the Surge fight instead of after. That can help yeah. sometimes. Um, yeah. And I think you're guaranteed level 30 for uh, the, the Oddish in uh, Rock Tunnel. Yeah, that Oddish is very nasty to yeah. deal with. Level 30 guarantees that you kill it. I have no clue if Cruel actually uh, chooses to fight uh, some encounters and get the additional XP, or that he just continued yeah. on. We didn't see if uh, we didn't see if he got any encounters. Uh, it's actually it's actually somewhat rare that you do get um, good enough encounters to get the 138 XP, or at least decide to take the chance to kill them um, with the manipulation. Yeah. And they're both really close at the moment. Uh... Yeah, they're both exiting this fight at nearly the same time. Cruel actually resetting. And getting that manip. And Hassel is right on his tail. Um, so Hassel's actually, uh, he's using, he's doing the pallet swap manip, which, uh, is uh, more consistent here than the non palette swap manip. Uh, looks like Cruel's doing the non palette swap manip. The non palette swap has easier movement, but it has more of a chance to fail um, due to the in game time rolling over at bad times that can throw off the RNG. Um, that kind of phenomenon is referred to as IGT-0. If you see people talking about IGT-0, they're talking about um, the in-game time uh, frame counter rolling over to zero for the next second. Um, and during, if it does that at a bad time during a minute, then it can uh, cause it to fail. 
so they could end up getting an encounter here that they're not supposed to. But so Cole's got his like parents. Yeah. Well, he has the encounter, but he still has to catch it. He's a uh, normal one in an MK4 level. Ooh. He's poison stinging it, so maybe oh, while his stream was down, he actually encountered a Paris and caught it. Yeah, it, it looks like that's what happened. He, he caught the level 8 Paris. Wow. Um, Little did we know. So I um, I was hoping that Hassel would actually catch the level 8 Paris that he found, because if he had done this manip after, he would have been able to poison sting this level 12 Paris and get 120 XP from it. Yeah. Um, and get his... Uh, get his uh, Mount Moon XP really easily. Um, that, that's another difference between these two minips. Uh, the the pallet swap gives you a level 12 and the non-pallet swap gives you a level 10. Hmm. Well, Jim Freak, <clears throat> trust me, you are not the only one that was scared for a moment. <laughs> me too. I, 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 uh, I was like, did he just kill it? But um, yeah. We discovered he already had one. From this point on, uh, Rukta or uh, Mount Moon isn't scary anymore. When I believe that Hassel actually entered the fight with the with the nerd slightly faster, so that this is just neck and neck. It's so close. They managed to avoid the scary thing in this fight, which was. Uh... Griber disabling horn attack. Yeah, that, that's a bad thing. <laughs> it wastes a few turns. Um, you have to tackle things for a few turns. Uh, in a race this close, it could have definitely turned the tide for these players. Oh, Crow uh, going actually... for the memes! <laughs> yeah, he's getting the dome fossil. Which is slower since uh, the NPC has to walk an extra tile. I don't know why he did that, but... We, we should ask him after, uh, after the race, cause... Alright, so now they're both going to be headed to the Cerulean Poké Center. That's going to set their warp point to Cerulean. Um, they're going to be using that escape rope later to warp back here from Bill's house, which for some reason you can do. Yeah. Um, well coded. Red and blue has... Uh, they have... Um, you can dig or escape rope from a few houses that you really shouldn't be able to. Yeah. Uh, they fixed those in yellow, but... Oh. Yep. Well, Red there's more than uh, one bug. There's also something that uh, that's called Instatext, which you could uh, could get um, by talking to the, the bike shop owner and pressing B on his offer to sell you the bike. It was uh, it was discovered by accident, and it is actually banned. We, we used to run with it for like a few months, but it made the run super risky and wasn't fun at all. So, yeah. We're now yeah. back to uh, regular text speed, I'd say. Yeah, yeah somewhat it, risky. It had, it had some implications that um, made this section of the run absolutely terrible. People hated running it. Um, so they're the, both going into Cerulean Rival Fight at about the same um, time. Cruel getting uh, cruel. a sound attack. Yeah. Opting not to switch out. Uh, sand attack lowers... One hmm. sand attack lowers your accuracy to 66% uh, of normal. Um, wow. 
So he is actually, Cruel is actually switching out, but if you're going to switch out on Sand Attack, you want to do it when Pidgeotto is going to die in one hit. Um, so that you don't get Sand Attacked again after you switch Fair back point. in. Yeah. Um, it is somewhat reasonable of a play to risk uh, fighting through one Sand Attack. Oh, Supersonic actually asking you. If it's better to run red or red and blue or yellow, I think that's that's down to personal preference, I guess. Yellow is a little longer, a few minutes, I believe, and yeah, it's it's really what you uh, what you prefer yourself. Uh, one thing that you can actually do, since they were level eighteen coming into the fight, um. Cruel actually could have stayed in with the Sand Attack, because uh, Sand Attack would have actually given him a badge boost, and that badge boost would have let him uh, one-shot the Rattata. Um, badge boosts, like the stack badge boosts I mentioned earlier, um, those disappear when you level up, because your stats are recalculated properly. But if you come into that fight at level 18, then you don't get the level up right away, so you can use that to your advantage. Still a risk, though. Mm, hassle actually getting the ah two one shots on the on the first Nugget Bridge trainer. Cruel missing out on the first one. It's like the thanks box that you did a critical hit might seem slow, but it's still faster than doing a second attack. Nice crit hit, uh, nice crit on the Pidgey for Hassel. That prevents the possibility of a sand attack on that fight. Yeah, X accuracy is work uh, <clears throat> in a in a special way in this uh, in this gen. So the extra XP that they got. Um, is going to let them hit level 20 before uh, this youngster fight. That's going to let this Rattata always die in one hit. Um, it's a range at level 19. Ekans is about 50-50 to die. Um, and probably, probably like... Like one of the one of the first things um, that's different between the the Mega Punch route, which uh, neither of these guys are doing, um, but Mega Punch uh, has more power than Horn Attack, so it'll let you one shot things that are normally a range, and it'll let you um, uh, hit things. It'll let you one shot things that you normally have to start a thrash to one shot, and uh, starting thrashes uh, can be risky in some situations. Um, but these players are choosing not to do that. So I don't I don't remember if Hassel actually got enough experience to level to twenty one after this fight. No, we'll um, find out soon enough, I guess. But I'm sure Cruel has Yeah, okay, he is level 21. Has. Yeah. Alright. So that's important, because uh, he's going to use his two... Uh... Wait, no, hold on. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I know, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Um, he's going to use his two rare candies now, and get him to level 23 so he can learn Thrash. Uh, thrash is an excellent move, because it's 90 power, and uh, lasts for uh, between 3 and 4 turns, um, and selects itself every time, so... A very only quick plus move. One yep, yep. For the whole duration of the move. Yeah, so they both they both had enough XP to get early thrash. So um this fight's gonna be faster. This make it would normally be a two hit. And they'll have uh, they'll have a couple of fights be safer later on due to this extra experience. Uh, 
And the next fight that's really going to be a problem for either of them is uh, the hiker they have to fight in Route 25. Yeah, oh. that one is quite rough. Uh, the Machop always dies uh, at the trash, I believe, but it's it's the Geodude that's, uh, that's really the struggle. Yeah, Geodude being rock uh, takes half damage from normal attacks, and it also has very high defense. Um, so it's normally a three shot with Thrash, but you're relying on a four turn Thrash. Um, if your Thrash only lasts for three turns instead of four, then um, you'll get confused at the end of it. And then you have to risk whether you want to attack again and risk hitting yourself in confusion. Um, or the safe option, if you're in a bind, is uh, to switch out to Squirtle and kill the Geodude with a bubble. Um, that's actually, if they end up do having to do that, they're going to lose the extra XP they got from Mount Moon. They're going to lose the advantages of that. Well, let's find out if Hostel has uh, good luck today. Oh, Defense Curl, that's really bad. Ooh. Um, this isn't going to be a three-shot anymore, unless he criticals. Nope. He did get the four-turn thrash, which is good for him, but now he's, he's going to have to fight through, and he's uh, hitting himself oh, in confusion boy. once. He can afford another hit. I is no longer confused, so that's good. Let's see what we'll get. That was a bit rough for Hassel, but uh, still worked out in his favor. Uh, Cruel's gotten no defense curl so far. A defense curl in the last turn still lets him kill, so that was good. That was that was yeah. He he was lucky. That's what it does that. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, Thresh is actually, well, a little too powerful. It uh, it makes all the uh, all the yeah Pokemon you're fighting uh, fade in one turn. So, at least for now. Yeah, it cleans up the mid game so well. It's so effective. No. Oh. And soon enough, uh, they'll come to one of the, the more scary uh, gym leaders, I guess. Or at least it used to be. I actually wasn't paying attention to whether they grabbed the elixir or not. Uh, I think but they both did. Um, depending on what strats you're using, and depending on whether you kept the antidote um, from Viridian Forest or not, you can choose to... Grab the elixir here or the ether after the final last. Um, uh, we know that Hassel had to use his antidote. Yeah. Yeah. So usually, if you use the antidote, um, you're gonna grab the elixir, or so you're gonna grab the ether. Yeah. Um, to fill your bag with an extra item because uh, the item management in your bag space comes into play the second half of the game. Um, you actually, you at a certain point in the late game, you want to have your bag full, uh, so that when you fight the endgame gym leaders, you don't get their TMs, and it saves time on text. Pass on not picking up the Aether. Yeah, that's true. Bl Blizzard will also will always get the elixir, and I believe yeah. it doesn't sell TM thirty four. Um. I'm not sure if Hassel's been doing Blizzard Route or not, but it's possible. Okay. I'm being corrected on a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not. I'm not very familiar with um, the new strats like Light Earthquake and the Blizzard route. Uh, most of my experience is from running the game last year, even before the Manip. I 
and it's actually pretty interesting when you see um, all the players that uh, have come back to this game for this tournament. Yeah, people asking uh, for some uh, some info about the players. Well, I do know Cruel a little, so I could give you a little bit of information about uh, about him. I don't know Hasselback that well. I saw that he had a 156 something, and that that's about a month old or something. So that's about it. But yeah, Cruel is uh, Cruel has a 202. Um, I'm pretty sure Hasselt started running the game in within the last year or the last yeah. six months or something like that. Yeah, Cruel actually, uh, well, does a lot of games. Yeah, um, he started a long time ago. Um, Hassel's uh, in the Misty fight, which uh, is not very scary with uh, the Neptunito. Ooh, he gets X defense. defend on Starmie, which is uh, which is actually one of the worst things that you can see here. And uh, a bubble beam. And a bubble beam. This could turn out really badly if he gets uh, his speed lowered, but he didn't, so uh, he's just going to switch out to um, get rid of the confusion that he got from a three-turn thrash, and he's going to switch back in. Uh, Nido King will be faster than Starmi, so he can just finish off cleanly with the horn attack. Not sure why he switched in Squirtle. Um, maybe that was an accident. Yeah, I think it... Ooh, um, he's tail whipping it? I, I think he's tail whipping to stall, uh, but actually, it... like, you can... One option, depending... Like, usually this happens if you're lower speed, is you can switch in Squirtle and tail whip Starmie to get rid of the X defend. But Starmie's HP was so low, I'm not sure why he wanted to do that. I'm just gonna assume that that was an accident. Um, I didn't see how Cruel's fight went at all, because uh, no. I was paying attention to Hassel's, but... I, I think it went pretty smooth, because, well, he seems to be pulling ahead again, so... Yeah, it looked like your, it was probably your typical uneventful Misty fight, where you just take one hit, and you hit two thrashes on Starmie, and it dies. They're so both in the pretty... same fight, so... Yeah, they're not they're not too far apart. But uh, Misty is one of those fights that it's uh, it's pretty consistent nowadays. But there's still some things like X defend and Bubble Beam crit and Bubble Beam speed fall that can put you in a bad situation. Um, Hassel actually has a uh, um, yeah red bar. I believe yeah he has. <laughs> Or might have just level out of it, but yeah. And now Cruel making his way to Vermilion City, where he will go towards the SSN. It is one close race indeed, and Cruel getting. Yeah, I think he got the jingle skip. So it was about uh. Not even a second, but you know, it saves time, so it, you know, we do it. Hassel getting it as well. Cruel now uh, actually making his way to the. Um, the Vermilion and the last two trainers right before it are mandatory to fight, so first one has three Pidgeys, and this is generally not a scary fight unless all three of them actually go for Earthquake. Uh, TM26 is Earthquake, if I recall correctly. <laughs> yeah, TM28 is Dig. Or, well... Tombstone, or if you believe the questions in Blaine's DM. And they're basically equal at the moment. Like, Cruel defeated the first Pokemon of this trainer, and Hassel actually starting it right now. So...
crew going to the mark right away. Selling his nugget and his TM34 and even his antidote. Okay. You don't want Ice Shield Screw. So, our crew picking up super potions and repels. Where Hassel only picked up repels, I believe. Crew opting to learn Bubble Beam before entering the SSN. And they're now on their way to uh, to the rival fight uh, on the boat. Which, depending on your uh, on your strategy, might be uh, a run killer. And they're... oh my... They're pretty much equal at the moment. This, uh... This is less than a second apart from each other. And Cruel going for the horn attacks. Switching out on the... After the first sand attack. Hassel getting uh, the Vigilla down with some bubble beams. And also bubble beaming the Redicate. Getting a crit on it, so dies fairly quick. And because they started thrice at the Kadabra, they uh they are guaranteed to at least get two turns of trash on the on the Ivy Sword itself. Both actually managed to survive the fight pretty easily. Now we're getting the the first HM of the game being HM01. And that's cut, so they'll be able to cut away those uh, those bushes blocking their path. I don't think Cruel is actually setting up to get Red Bar. Uh, at all. It, 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 oh wow, it, it feels weird to see the boat actually leave the normal way after you've been playing some randomizer for a few days. Because in the randomizers the boat will actually go backwards. And uh, yeah, HM stands for a hidden machine. I know Cruel prob will most likely not go for a can manip because he hasn't practiced it. Because according to him, if you get good cans, it doesn't save that much. So I can see where he's coming from. Hassel actually going for a can manip. So, if Cruel gets good cans done, this is still a close one. But not manipping the cans can actually cost you a lot of time. Nope. 
He found the first Twitch, but then he didn't get the second one. Which will cost him even more time. Oh, he goes for the the actual save after getting the first scan, because in this generation, if you find the first switch and, you know, you save and then go uh, for the second switch, you know, it's a 50-50 shot for the place he was at, I believe. Yeah, cans is one of the easiest manips, but it also saves uh, the least amount of time. So... Yeah, I can see that that one would help to get, uh, you know, the Nidda Manip and the, the Mount Moon Manip down first. And Hassel actually making a, a really quick fight out of a, a search uh, battle. Cruel has 50 HP, so he won't get Red Bar. Anytime soon, I guess. Hi. Uh, sorry about that. I had a bit of an emergency. Uh, oh, welcome back. Welcome back. Good now. Emergencies can happen. Well, Cruel actually defeated Surge as well. And Hassel is now getting his, uh, his bike voucher. This man loves to talk about his, uh, his rapid dash. And um, it's just slow. But, yeah, we have to sit through it. Uh, so do either of these guys have red bar? Uh, Krul doesn't. Krul's at 58 HP, and I'm not sure if Hassel managed to get it. 58 is a lot, so... Um, I kind of doubt that he would try and get into Red Bar in Rock Tunnel from that high of an HP. Yeah, I don't think Krull will actually have to get Red Bar this early on. Uh, Red Bar for Rock Tunnel is a little bit risky in races, too. Hazel is at 25, okay, so that's... Um... He's also saving before the, the four turn Christ Girl, which I can't see how, well, why you would do that. Because yeah. this fight is, is uh. I, um. I dislike this fight. And indeed, Hassel is a Canadian, and Krull is a Dutchy. Yeah, so, so this fight, if you didn't grab Mega Punch, then um, your only option is to thrash, because uh, the first Oddish won't die to anything else. And you need a four turn. Um, to be able to clear the entire fight. If you don't get a four turn, uh, you either have to try and fight through confusion, or uh, hey, you have to switch out. And if you switch out, you're going to lose experience, because the Dollspread is so weak, it really can't kill anything. Uh, and Hassel actually getting the four turn. Yep, that's a very good four turn to get. Rule actually not saving before the fight, going, you know, so somewhat risky. Uh, Krul's at 58 HP, so it's not that risky for him. Um, he can afford a couple of times hitting himself, even if it comes down to that. Yeah, fair enough. Um, probably the worst thing that could happen is uh, Bellsprout could troll you with Sleep Powder. Uh, Which it tried! <laughs> but it managed to not affect him. And there it goes. Uh, I'm not sure why he's switching out though. Well, uh, I think he's switching out to use the full restore and then switch oh, it back maybe. in. To get rid of the conf well To get rid of confusion, yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that also be gone if you just used the full restore anyway? No, it wouldn't actually. <laughs> Full restore Krul doesn't even... sold his antidote, and now his squirrel is uh, is poison, so that will somewhat slow him down. Because of the, that, that beautiful screen flashing every time your uh, poison Pokemon takes damage. Communicator, <laughs> commentator scores. Yeah, sorry about that. 
So, though, he wasn't really at risk of dying for that fight. He did fall quite far behind um, because yeah. of it, at least relative to where he was. Uh, Hassel actually thrashed that slow poke um, to try and get a hit from it to get closer to red bar. So it looks like he is actually going for it. Um, but it looks like he crit it, so didn't actually get that hit. Um, it looks like he's... I guess, I guess he's not going for it on the second slowpoke, because he doesn't really want to chance his luck. Um, the second slowpoke is higher level, so it does more damage, but it still wouldn't have been enough to kill him. I think he still would have been fine. So this fight that Hassel's doing right now is... Um, the scary audition rock tunnel that uh, is 45% uh, to live if you're level 29. But since he's level 30, he's got nothing to worry about. Yeah. Oh, and the Gus Cruel switched out on the on the Bell Shroud. I see that that Jim Freak actually said that he might not be level 30 before the before the Oddish. Oh yeah, I, I don't believe he's going to be, so... Um, that's gonna be one risky fight. That's not gonna be that risky since he's at full health because of the full restore. Um, uh, so the worst thing that can happen on, on this Oddish fight is it lives uh, to a Thrash, and then it sleep powders you. And because Thrash makes you constantly select the fight command, it makes you unable to heal while you're asleep. You're just locked into Thrash, and you can't select anything else to heal yourself. No. Um, Which is pretty bad. Um, so, it, additionally, because um, uh, uh, because uh, he'll be under status, uh, Oddish won't use any status moves, so it'll just spam absorb. But he has a lot of health, so he's likely to snap out of... Uh, or he's pretty yeah. much guaranteed to snap out of sleep before he dies. Well, let's hope. Um, yeah, it's Paralyze, actually, uh, Hammer pointing out. Paralyze would be worse for cruel in this case because he uh. has used his full restore and you want the full restore to heal paralysis there uh, paralyze I think it quarters your sp or I think it halves your speed and it makes you have a 25% chance to not take your turn Being slower is uh, the main thing that you don't want. If you're paralyzed, you'll be slower than pretty much everything. So everything will get a turn. I'm not sure if you're actually slower than the Geodudes, because I know those have very low speed, but if you are, then they can use self-destruct on you. And let's hope uh, Cruel will actually not mess up selecting his, uh, his move for uh, the Geodudes. He, he, he goes for a bubble beam. I've once tried to trash this fight. That does not work. <laughs> but yeah, Hassel took the lead uh, because of... I believe the cans... The Cruel not doing the can manip cost him a little bit of time. Oh wow, he didn't do can manip? I wonder why he nope. didn't do that. Uh, he hasn't learned it yet. Really? Uh, he, he, well, yeah. He knows it's one of the easiest manips, uh, but it also saves the least amount of time. So he opted not to, to go full on ham on that. Well, it saves the least amount of time in an optimal situation, but when do you ever get an optimal situation in this game? Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> um, about uh, never. I don't know. It's, it's just it's just so simple. I, I think he really should <laughs> learn it because uh, it's it's especially going to um, have the most effect in races.
Thanks, Hammer. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, though, Shadow. But yeah, um, you see Hassel doing uh, some shopping right now. Getting his super repel, super potions, TM07. A poke doll and some uh, some drinks. That is correct, Stappa. Yeah, and that as well box. Like if it's faster on average than yeah. I don't think that mentality works very well with this game. Um, just from experience. Um, which, like, it, it's interesting to me that he has that mentality because um, Cruel does run a lot of other games, including some RPGs. I don't really, I don't really know all of what he runs, but I know he runs Final Fantasy One because uh, the first time I heard of him was seeing him winning a Final Fantasy One tournament. <laughs> oh, the, the 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 tournament last year. Yeah. 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 Cruel uh, does run a lot of games. Actually, I don't remember if he won it. I think he did. I yeah, know he was last in grand year he actually won it. This year he actually got knocked out of the tournament in, I believe, last 16. But yeah, Cruel definitely runs uh, way too many games to remember. And Hassel already getting uh, the Fly HM. Which will allow him to uh, to go from city to city way faster. Yep, and with the fly HM comes the longest menu in the game, where um, he's going to teach. Uh, actually, did he get ice beam? I didn't even see. I have. He did not get ice beam. He didn't. No. So he's doing blizzard Ooh. strats. Um. But yeah, so you teach, uh, you teach Rock Slide, you teach Fly, um, Swap, Repels the XX up to the top. Um, not in that order, <laughs> uh, <laughs> by the way. But it's, uh, it's a pretty involved menu. And I think Krul will get Ice Beam, because I'm, I'm fairly confident that he's uh, you know, not familiar with uh, Blizzard strats at all. I think he, I think he just got Ice Beam. I think I just saw him get that. Hassel now fighting uh, his rival once again. Um, I guess in this route you don't take Horn Drill into this fight. I have no clue about the Blizzard's uh, route, to be honest. Yeah, I, I honestly don't either. <laughs> It's pretty new, and I have way too much muscle memory with the older yeah, routes. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I kind of know the older route somewhat. Um, I guess you, I guess you teach you teach horn drill over rock slide in this route. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Um. Because you don't want to get rid of uh, Bubble Beam, which is what you used to teach Rock Slide over. Um, Gruel's teaching Rock Slide over Bubble Beam, so he's doing the old strats. Um, so he's going to be horn drilling that first rival fight.
The Ghastly fights are a little bit risky because Rock Slide is only 90% accurate. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> and I, uh, I believe that, uh, that Gunner actually had the, the bad luck of getting killed because of it being 90%. Yep, number one seed in this tournament, losing his race because of um, not just that, but a lot of other things happened. Yeah, fair, but I think that 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 Devon Tower is one of the major ones. Yeah, that um, that is that is a single thing that if it hadn't happened, he would have taken that race. Um, yeah, so these Gastelies can. Uh, before the, the ones before the heal pad especially they can kill you yeah um, they have nightshade which does 23 damage they have lick which can paralyze you and they have confuse ray which can cause you to hit yourself well that, that is true step but Deacon actually played really well in that race. Uh, Deacon had a pretty decent time um, before before learning uh, or uh, before the minip sort of thing, and he learned a minip rat in like two days or something. Um, but I think we should probably focus on this race more. <laughs> uh, Hansel. Already at the ghost, which we all know is Marowak, but you know. Yeah, the older, the older games. Um have stat XP instead of EVs, and they're kind of more complicated uh, system where uh, for every Pokemon you defeat, you get each of its base stats as an amount of stat XP, and that all adds up um, over the course of you leveling up your Pokemon. And there's uh, there's no limit to um, uh, to how much you can have uh, total. So all of your stats can reach the uh, the stat XP ceiling of like 65,536, I think. Um, unlike the newer games where you're allowed a maximum of 255 EVs uh, total across your stats. So you don't have to make the decision in Gen 1 and 2 which, which, um, which stats you want your EVs for. Well, so far it uh, it seems to be going quite well for both of them. Hassel is already uh, going to start his uh, his final fight in the Pokemon Tower. The end of Pokemon Tower, pretty much everything after the heal pad, is really straightforward, and not too much can happen. Um, it's just about the worst thing that can happen is one of the Gastly's after the heal pad can uh, paralyze you, and you'll have you'll have to go back to the heal pad to get rid of it if you don't have a full restore. Um, but th these fights, there's not really much that can happen. making quick work of, uh, of that last fight and uh, will now get his bouquet flute and with that he'll make his way to uh, Foxia City to uh, and the safari zone for that matter I 
don't know. Maybe we'll see an early self code from somebody. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, heal pad skip is uh, something you can do by um, luring the trainer um, on that floor out that has a haunter. And you fight that, and you just go behind that trainer. Um, that's only going to be useful if you still have red bar, since the purpose of it is to keep red bar for the top of the tower. And it, it doesn't save very much time, and depending on what your HP is, it can add a lot of risk to the top floor. I think it saves like 5 seconds or something like that. Uh, so Hassel actually is uh, yeah. doing early self. Yeah. Um, apparently the Blizzard Rat uh, does feature that. I don't know the Blizzard Rat, so I'm not aware of that, but... <laughs> um, Neither do I, I don't even know why he's taking the stairs. People in chat know their stuff. Yeah. I only know things from 2016. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, maybe we should both look into the, the notes for 2017. Because apparently uh, a lot is changing. Um, so one of the... Uh... They're, they're doing late Earthquake as well, instead of going straight up to Tedef to fight that trainer. Yeah. Um, and Hassel actually uh, <laughs> managing to showcase uh, the major risk that pops up because of this is you don't one-shot this Arbok since you don't have Earthquake. Um, so he actually gets paralyzed on that turn from Glare. Uh, so he's going to have to use his full restore to get rid of it. So both of them now actually used their full restores already. Yeah, I expect Gruel to be making his way to uh, the Safari Zone right now. Yeah, I guess. Since that's the old <laughs> route. Um, and in the Safari Zone, uh, they can both pick up an additional full restore. It's only like a couple seconds out of the way. Um, Hassel's going into the self rival fight now, and um, you can choose to try and get red bar in this fight, but um, it's very risky. There's a pretty significant chance of dying if you do um, to the upcoming fights, as well as uh, getting crit by Hydro Pump. And I think it's a bit more risky actually if you don't have Earthquake yet. Um, because you have to set up an X accuracy on the Q bone on the next rocket. Um, so it looks like he's not going for that. Um, he's he's ahead enough to where he wouldn't really need it anyways. Yeah, and Cruel actually going to uh, towards the safari zone. Oh, Cruel missing the rare candy in the grass. Hopefully he can get it soon. There we go. Yeah. Not that much of a, a problem, but lost him a little bit of time. And Hassel actually making uh, quick work of that uh, that arrival fight. Yeah, that fight, that fight's very simple and easy if you don't go for red bar on it. Kroll making his way towards the, uh, the entrance of the Safari Zone. And, you know, normally we'd go here to catch uh, lots and lots of Pokémon. But in this run, we... Uh, nah. We're not going to catch anything. I wonder Safari Zone is terrible for catching anything if you don't manip things anyways. Yeah. Ah, 
Cool teaching ice beam. It's probably gonna teach it over a rock slide. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully he picks up that extra full restore, and yeah, he's going to do that. Alright, so hopefully, uh, oh, Hassel still has to fight Geo. Oh, but hopefully he doesn't forget to go back and get Earthquake afterwards. Let's hope so. Cruel, uh, actually... Already done with the Safari Zone. I might have to refresh, I might be behind. Well, picked up the Gold Thief right now, now going to, uh... Oh, I, I was actually okay, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think you were, but he, he was out of the, the, the somewhat dangerous, uh... The dangerous... Okay, am I here? <laughs> Alright. Sorry about that, I just had some internet issues. Uh, I didn't really see what I missed, but I probably didn't miss very much. Hassle probably just grabbing Earthquake and... Um... Uh, Cruel's thrashing the Machoke. Uh, to get Earthquake. Uh, this trainer is a trainer you have to fight if you go get Earthquake for Giovanni. And I guess he's thrashing to save uh, the PP for Horn Drill and or an X Accuracy. Hassel going for the side candy, I guess. Um, bad meme. But I guess both of these guys had trouble picking up the rare candy in that patch. So now Hassel's going to the Safari Zone, Cruel's going through self code. You're basically both going to see them doing uh, the thing that the other one already did. Uh, Cruel's got Earthquake for this Arbok fight, so he's just going to one-shot it. No risk for Glare, no problem. Um, he is behind, so um, he's got some time to make up. At least I think he's... Uh, I'm, I'm sure he's still behind. It's hard to compare. Because Sorry about that. Outs. My, uh, Welcome my, back. My internet decided to uh, just uh, stop working. Oh hey, both of ours <laughs> went out at the same time, I think. <laughs> oh wow. Um, it's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, uh, Ted, but... My internet decided different, uh, for me this time. Oh. And Cruel had an internet death as well, so... So I think, uh... 
Uh, I think Cruel might go for Self Red Bar since he's got some time to make up. Um, but it's pretty risky. It's somewhat advanced, so we'll see if he decides to or not. Uh, wasn't paying attention, but I hope Hassel picked up the Full Restore. Uh, yeah. yeah, he did. Okay, it's at the bottom of his menu. Uh, he also grabbed the PP up on Cycling Road. Um, and he's gonna use that on Horn Drill. Um, Krull's HP is not very good for uh, Red Bar, especially with that final crit quick attack from Pidgeot. Um, Pidgeot! So Pidgeot has um, Mirror Move and Whirlwind, I think, in this fight. And uh, Gust and Quick Attack, I think that's right, I don't remember. But the point is, he's got he's got non-damaging moves, and he's also got a Quick Attack. So the variability in your HP after Pidgeot is insane. And it can just completely make or break um, uh, what did he get, can get red bar in this fight? He didn't, okay, so he died to Alakazam, he oh, didn't boy. X speed. Yeah, he used an X special instead of X speed. You can't do that. <laughs> um, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. And I don't I don't think he saved before the rival. Mm, no, he didn't. Else he would have reset it. So oh. that's really bad for him. Yeah, cruel already called on the GG. He is gonna finish, but the uh, hassle will win. Well. Oh, he actually, like, mis-input, I guess? I, d I, d I don't know, I don't really know how he made the mistake of not using the X-Speed, but... Yeah, he's gonna have to go through Sylph all over again. Anyways, Hassel uh, working on Koko's gym right now, yeah. and he's entering the uh, the Hypno fight, which um, this Hypno doesn't die to an earthquake, and uh, unless it crits, and it has confusion, which can do about fifty damage. Um, so if you're at low HP, or if you're trying to get Red Bar through here, that's a big risk. Um, Hassel's actually probably going to want uh, to take damage here. So he's actually using a Thunderbolt uh, to stall in Hypno to try and get some damage. Um, because at the end of Koko's Gym, you want to die to uh, self-destruct from Weezing. Yeah, and Krull actually went back to the Mart to buy uh, additional action items, I believe, to, uh, to be able to get through the fight again. Um, so self-destruct, uh, low roll does uh, 77 damage. Uh, it's 77 to 90, I think, is the range. Um, and that goes up if Koga uses an X attack on Weezing, which he can use two X attacks on each Pokemon. But um, that's a bit risky to try and bank on that. And you want to die to self-destruct, uh, because you can actually revive Nidoking with the rare candy after the fight, and that will allow you to have Red Bar for nearly the rest of the game. Um, so it's very important that you die here in terms of time. None of the strats are really different if you don't have red bar, but you just lose time on every single fight if you don't. <clears throat> and Krul starting the, the rival fight again. Hopefully he'll uh, not mess up this time. Alright, so Hassel getting the self-destruct and wheezing. Yeah. 
Uh, that that self destruct actually, um, uh, it's very fortunate that the route works out like this because um, it actually will only use self destruct due to good AI. Uh, all of its other moves are poison type moves, and as such, um, he will not use them on Nidoran as they're not very effective. One of the few times the game actually has good AI. So Hassel now flying to Pelothan using the the um uh, candies that he saved up so far. And teaching surf to his uh, his squirrel. And because of using those rare candies your Nido King magically comes back to life. Yeah, at low at super low health for very long time keeping red bar, it's great. Yeah, from now on you'll have, uh, have Red Bar till, uh... <sighs> uh... Till what point, actually? Um, I'll have it. So, so one thing you can do is you can use a rare candy uh, in Koga's Gym before the Hypno. Ah, um, yeah. And that'll, uh, that'll make it more likely that an Earthquake and Thunderbolt uh, is gonna kill the Hypno. Although I think that only applies on bad stats, uh, so never mind that, but... Um, it also lets you only use two rare candies here instead of three, so you'd have less HP. Um, so the way he has it now, um, I believe if he doesn't take damage for the rest of the game, he's going to pop out of red bar in the middle of the Bruno fight. Um, or maybe on Lorelei, I don't remember. Yes, basically they, you'll have red bar till like, close to the same, uh... Um... As long as he's in red bar for the Jinx, that's that's I guess that's one of the most important facts. Yeah, you literally lose an entire minute on that fight if you hear the Jinx cry. So Hassel grabbing the Blizzard TM is teaching Blizzard and uh, taking the opportunity to teach his strength as well. Uh, Cruel has uh, Cruel's finishing up the Giovanni fight, and he has a lot of HP going into Koga's gym, so he's going to want to stall on that Hypno as well, and hopefully get some damage. Because you don't want to not die to self-destruct. So now that Hassel's done with Cinnabar Mansion, he's gonna do the triple gym leader sweep, starting with Erica. Yeah. And then For... going to Blaine and then uh and then Sabrina. Yeah. No, I'm still alive, Stepa. Don't worry, I'm still alive. So I think he's going to, uh, he's got Blizzard, so I think he's going to, um, Blizzard, um, the non-poison Pokémon, and Earthquake the poison ones. Um, just because Blizzard has a 10% chance to miss. Yeah, um, being a red bar makes that really risky. Eh, 
It, it, you are correct. It's basically a five gym. Straight yes. Pass. After Koga, it starts, but. Well, technically, that's not true, because you defeat Koga and then you go to Dimension, and then it's like chips, so. Uh... Let's go like quadruple, uh, you know. Yeah, I just wasn't counting triple. I, I, just, I just wasn't counting Giovanni because, um, yeah. like, b before Manip, um, these three gym leaders were in a different order depending on your stats. So it was kind of known as that. Well, there is a trainer before Erika. That's true. And after that, there's no trainer besides the gym leaders. That is true. And then there's two trainers before Giovanni. That is actually a thing. Cruel now is starting Koga. I wasn't paying attention, I didn't see how much HP Cruel came out of that fight with. Hopefully Neither it's... Neither did I. Hopefully it's less than 90. <laughs> um, actually hopefully it's less than 77. Oh, okay, no, oh, he's got 119, this is bad. <laughs> um, if he, if uh, Koga doesn't use an X attack on Weezing, then he could be in a very bad spot here. Oh boy. Cruel not even opting for Red Boar anymore, I guess. All, all we can do at this point is hope for the X attack. That'll increase the self-destruct damage to where it will kill him. Nope. Um, Jim uh, Koga is right before uh, Erika and uh, Erika Blaine and Sabrina. Well, I think Cruel just put himself in the, in red bar, so that's that. That's not a very good red bar, though. Um, he's gonna level yeah. up out of that. Um, there's probably somewhere where he can take a small bit of damage. But I'm unsure. Uh, did... Dude, it... Well, depends on how you look at it, but... For us, it's... Uh, in the speed run, they do it, a. Uh, I can never see one. Uh, they basically do the first trade uh, gems uh, in order, then they defeat Koga. Then they go to Erika, then they do uh, Jim Blaine's gem, followed by Sabrina's, followed by Giovanni's. Yeah, it's a. Uh, according to Step, it's now a seven minute difference between Cruel and, uh, and Hassel. Hassel's horn drilling the Blaine fight, unfortunately, wasn't able to horn drill the Goralis because it used agility. And uh, in Gen 1, uh, horn drill doesn't work on an enemy that's faster than you. Although Hassel still made quick work of uh, the gym, and here you could actually see why he wanted to have his. Uh, his items the way he has them right now, so you won't get any other TMs of the of the last five GMs you do. Hasselbox just gonna earthquake Sabrina's four Pokemon. Yeah, pretty much should be done with it. Like this, this whole this whole late game section is why Nino Kings shine so much. Um, you can just one hit basically everything. Yeah, you get to stay in red bar for it, especially because of the minute uh, Nino King. Uh... 
You basically outspeed um, all the Pokemons of uh, Sabrina. I'm not sure about the Alakazam, though, with the level that Haswell has. Um, yes. yeah. Yeah, because of that, it's not a scary fight anymore. Back, back, back without the Manip, um, Sabrina used to be a fairly scary fight as well. Yeah, well, if, you had, uh, if you yeah. had bad speed, um, you... Uh, oh, cruel forgetting to hit the switch in Cinnabar Mansion. Oh. Um. Yeah, I think for himself, cruel has already given up and... He's like, yeah, let's just continue. Yeah, you can kind of see it in his play. Uh, he's getting one rare candy, but not the other, unless he already... Oh, he must have already picked it up before. He might be uh, higher level anyway. I don't, I don't... Oh. Oh, yeah, he is. Uh, because of the, the double rival fight. Right. That's interesting. Um... He gets the hidden jingle candy though, which is slower. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Hassel is saving before the black belt fight. This is um, like one of the only fights late game. Uh, before the E4 that has a chance of killing you. Yeah. Uh, these Machokes are like 50-50 to die to an Earthquake. Uh, which he's not going for Earthquake strats, I guess. Uh, but if you give them a turn, uh, they can kill you with Crit Karate Chop, which is exactly what just happened. Yep. Um, karate Chop is a high crit rate move, and uh, with the Machoke's base speed, it's about 70% to crit. Um, so you don't want to see that. Uh, it's actually quite unlucky. Um, actually, yeah, you don't... If you skip mansion candies, you don't um, earthquake this fight. Because it's... Um, no, it, might not, it might not be a range then, or at least not a very good range. Oh boy. He's got low kick. Uh, that damage is gonna guarantee that he stays in the red bar up until Agatha. Yeah, the sprites in Gen 1 are amazing. The only other thing that can really kill you is um, you use an X-Accuracy on uh, Bruno's first Onyx to set up, and if it crits you with Slam, you can die to that at low HP, but that's yeah. really rare. Slam's accuracy isn't very good in the first place. Role in Blaine's gym, answering the questions that uh, that we all know so well by now. Um, the answer really? to every question is yes. Yeah, especially the last one because that one is true, right? Yeah. Yeah, they they um, they use uh, Tombstoner in this run a lot to travel quickly. Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> uh, Hassel freezing uh, Giovanni's ride on. Oh wow. Um, it's actually slower than. Yeah, you get um, more damage. Letting it have a turn. <laughs> it will generally try to use Fisher anyway, and since you're faster, that will fail.
So Giovanni's pretty free, uh, cause, uh, none of the- all the pokes either die in one hit or can't damage you. Uh, Viridian Rival's pretty free as well. Yeah, um, Bejia the- Bejia the stuck in a agility loop. Yeah, since it's- it, it's trying to use a psychic type move on you cause it's super effective, but it doesn't actually do any damage. Wonderful AI in this game. Um, and because of the axe accuracy, Blizzard doesn't have a chance to miss. I guess that um, the Blizzard on the Pidgeot is a range with the with the next speed. And no X special. Cruel now making his way towards Sabrina. Well, uh, Hassel is now making his way towards the Victory Road. Route 23 is just needlessly lengthy. Yeah. I'm, I'm really glad that um, in Gen 2 they started doing a single badge check for all eight, because this is just... <laughs> this is just kind of stupid. Yeah. I'm still not sure why they actually did it like this, but hey. I'm not sure why they did a lot of things, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, they did learn eventually from their mistakes. Fair enough. I have not seen X and Y's badge check. I have seen it, I just can't recall it. Um... I've I've probably witnessed it before, but I was probably asleep. And uh, let's see if uh, Hassel can actually get some swag holders, because if if he gets less than Cruel, then yeah, you know, we we might need to give Cruel the win anyway. Because the more swag, the better. So far we didn't have any swag boulders. Uh, I'm curious where Hassel's going to use uh, his penultimate super repel. Uh, if he uses it right next to the boulder, then you have to have perfect movement for it not to run out. Um, and he is going to do that. Um, there's actually really no reason not to try for it. Um, because if you get uh, if you don't do perfect movement, then you just have to take the extra menu anyways. Um, but yeah, let's see if you can uh, get all the way through this section and not incur the repel running out text. Uh, if he does it correctly, then he's gonna use his final super repel after dropping down the hole. In the same menu that you'd have to get back on your bike and use strength again. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Hassel is actually going to uh, to go for uh, any swag boulders. Cruel's going into the black belt fight, uh, so he might actually get, uh, take enough damage from this to be put into red bar. Oh, messing up movement. Okay, his, his repel's not going to last now. 
Um, Cruel is doing Earthquake strats because he grabbed Mansion Candies, so he's at a higher level. Uh, so he hit, he hit that first Earthquake range, and he's going for the second. Uh, he, he actually gets it. Alright, so uh, unfortunately for him, no damage from that fight. <laughs> so he actually yeah. wanted. He could have used uh, the damage, but... It doesn't take literal perfect movement, but I think you I think you can like use one extra turn frame or something like that. And I wish we we would see some swag rollers like just to finish it off. I think every successful swag boulder. Uh, oh, he's actually picking up the full restore at the end of victory yeah. road. Um. Because didn't he? I, I don't remember him using his last uh, his last one because he picked up the safari zone one. I don't think he used that. Oh, yeah, maybe so I guess he, he has just, two right now. Yeah, maybe he just goes for two. And there's a second swag PC, as uh, as people called it. Well, because like he did safari zone after. Uh, after, uh, what should we call it? After self co. So he would have had the full restore from there, I think. And there we go. Hassel actually starting his fight against uh, Lorelei while uh, Krull is actually fighting Giovanni. Uh. Giovanni, oh or sorry, Krull ac accidentally horn drilling the ride on and uh, missing. Uh oh. Because no X egg. Um, that actually, uh, he's down a horn drill now. Um, so we might have to grab the Max Ether on Route 23 now. Yeah, he might. Or he might opt to, uh, to go heal at, uh, at the center before, uh, victory route. It does lose him a little bit of time, but... Oh yeah, that's an option as well, uh, especially since um, he's not in red bar, and he's likely not going to end up in red bar. And Hassel making quick work of Lorelei. Yeah, the speedrun is brought to you by constant beeping. Hashtag red bar. Yeah, Boy, everyone I... likes Jinx's cry. Oh boy. <sighs> Laurel and Bruno are um, very straightforward fights. Just XAC and Sweet, pretty much. Um, Lorelei fight, you actually swap to the flyer. Um, to um, uh, to let turn one go by because uh, turn two is a guaranteed rest from Dugong. That's a free turn to use an exec without dying. I think there are actually two factors at play for that. Um, one is. Uh, the good AI always wanting to use a super effective move, but it, uh, Dugong has two super effective moves, uh, either Aurora Beam or Rest, and normally it's a 50-50 which one it uses at, at that point. Uh, but turn two... Uh, uh, Pokemon are generally favored to use status moves on turn two, and I think that was coded incorrectly and it was supposed to be turn one, but it is turn two. And that priority, I believe, gives rest a hundred percent chance. 
it, it would make sense that that you know you want to heal your your damaged Pokemon. So um, in that in that case, turn two would be, you know, making. Oh, I would out. think I would think turn one because normally there's there's setup moves like a like a you know, sword stance or whatever. Um, I mean sword stance isn't in a Pokemon in in the speedrunner app, but just an example. <laughs> Um, hassle full restoring for the Agatha fight, not taking any chances, because uh, this fight is pretty trolly. Um, and and cruel just used uh, his ether on uh, on Horndrill, so apparently cruel picked up the ether. Yeah, so I guess he's just gonna pick up the max ether now uh, and fill that slot. Um, that's actually kind of a oh he's not picking it up. It's on that little island there. Yeah. So I wonder what he's gonna do now. Um, because I I feel like he, he's down a PP item now. Uh, he might still be in good shape with the elixirs. He might I have enough elixirs. I don't think so. <laughs> Ooh. that would make it uh, that would make it tricky. Yeah, I might be missing something, but I think he's down a PP item. Um, so a pretty clean Agatha fight from Hassel. Uh, critting the Golbat, which the Golbat's scary because it has haze and it can just remove um, your X speed or your X special, whichever you use. Uh, actually, if you use an X special, you should be one shotting the Golbat, so I'm sure he used an X speed. Um, X speed lets you outspeed the final Gengar. Um, and it lets you out, uh, X special lets you outspeed the first one with the badge boost, and it lets you one shot the Golbat. So. Um, I guess people have preferences to which one they use. Actually, X special strat doesn't work with the lower experience from skipping mansion candy, so I might be forgetting that. Let's see how uh, how much this game likes uh, hassle. Yeah, so he's going into the lance fight, which um, basically your only option is to uh, is to X special because you won't survive a, a hit from hydro pump otherwise. Um. And uh, if his HP was uh, lower than it is now, if you've gotten some damage from Agatha... Oh! Hassel getting the crit from the Gyarados. Yeah, so that that can happen. That's basically just like a flat chance to get hit by a crit there. And... Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so that's what happened. You can't do anything about a Hydro Pump crit, which is pretty much why every single yeah. race you're going to save before Lance, no matter what. Um, so that's just going to cost him a bit of time having to reload. But yeah, if he was at lower HP, uh, he could get into red bar with uh, this Hydro Pump, but he's at uh, too high of an HP to be able to do that. I, I wonder, why is Cruel's timer on zero? I, he must have accidentally reset it at some point. So the Dragonairs, uh, they have agility, which they'll always try to use since it's a uh, psychic type. So he can set up however much he wants on this Dragonair. He's going to use an X speed on the next one. Oh, apparently, Krull's uh, life split crashed. About 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I, I didn't notice. <laughs> N neither did I do it until, like, you know. And actually, the nice thing about the Lance fight is um, it doesn't even matter if you miss a Blizzard um, because the things you use Blizzard on can't kill you. In the Aerodactyl, you can just Thunderbolt. So he's at 66 HP for the champ fight, which uh, is pretty nice. Um, uh, champ plays with the Pidgeot, and Pidgeot has Mirror Move and Whirlwind, which do nothing. And has Wing Attack, which does like uh, like 21, 24, or something like that. Yeah, and it's got Sky Attack. Sky Attack, which does uh, over 90, I think, 
Um, if he gets the turn one sky attack, like sky attack uh, takes a turn to charge. If he gets turn one sky attack, uh, he can super potion, and in, as long as he doesn't get crit, he'll be fine. And actually, that'll probably put him into red bar. Uh, but aside from that, uh, he's pretty safe for the champion fight. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but he's got to get his X accuracy and X speed off to sweep the fight. Got a whirlwind turn one, so he's guaranteed to be safe at this point. Even a crit wing attack won't kill him. And that's pretty much it. GG. Yeah, GG for uh, for Hustle. He only has to press uh, his A button for the rest of the game. Cool now starting on, uh, on Lorelei as well. Actually, didn't see what Cruel did. Um, did he just do the standard strat? I think he did. Okay. Because um, I, I think one thing you can do on Lorelei is if um, is if uh, you're not in red bar and you're like at full health or whatever. I guess he wasn't at full health, but um, if you're at full health, you can just go into the fight without the flyer and just tank an Aurora beam instead. Bit faster than switching. Yeah. So if he had taken the center uh, to heal his PP, then that's something he could have done. And that was the last, uh, the last Pokemon Hassel had to defeat. Yep. So time is going to be after, uh, after the in-game time screen fades out to white. Yeah. As soon as actually the credits will start. I think it's gonna be a uh, one fifty-seven something. Yeah, it's uh, it's about like a minute and fourteen, I think, from uh, champion. Yeah, defeat, one of, if you have one a minute and thirteen, I've heard. So, well, you know, it's still a sub two, which is which is good for a race, I guess. Yeah, this isn't this isn't too far off his PB either. Um, assuming his PB on speedrun.com is up to date. Which I'm not sure if it is. Well, it was. I, I think. I think it wasn't even a month old. So that. I guess it's up to date. Yeah, I. I just mean like um with uh, with people playing the game so much or in the time of the tournament, um, yeah. it's very possible for them to get a PB and maybe submit it uh, and it not get verified yet because those take a couple days to. Yeah, fair to point. get verified. Um, I'm also not actually watching his stream natively, so I don't know if he's got splits up. <laughs> but yeah, very nicely done, Hassel. And uh, he's got uh, his time on SRL is 157.39. Congrats to him for the win. Yeah, congrats to him. And yeah, cruel... Uh... Wow. I didn't see what happened. Alright, so he's also full restoring for Agatha. No messing around. Um, you can super potion instead, if you want. Just, like, do enough to survive yeah, a shade. But Cruel actually bought four full restores. I think he went for uh, extreme safety. Oh, he bought full restores. Okay. Um, yeah. That's uh, it's definitely an option you can... Dude, yeah, I safe. remember back in the day that, uh, that when I first started learning this game, I actually did it as well. So you'd be at full, uh, full HP for every fight in the in the U4. Yeah, I I never ever bought full restores. I never really saw the reason to. Um, never ended up needing them. So let's uh. Wow, getting hip, uh, hypnosis twice, I think. Um, that sucks because he has to use the Poke Flute to heal sleep. Um, you need to heal sleep right away because Dream Eater does a lot of damage if you're asleep. I don't know how much it does, but it's, it's not good if that happens. So he's, uh, he's at 62 HP, which... Um, uh, I didn't see what X item he used. Oh, he used an X-Ag, probably an X-Speed as well. 
So he should be faster than the last Gengar. Um, Axak is one option. You have to uh, take care of the Golbat and make sure it doesn't haze you by horn drilling it. Uh, but the one thing that can happen there is if you get confused by the first Gengar, then you might not actually hit with your horn drill. You might hit yourself instead. And then yeah. the Golbat can haze you at that point. Which is bad. Um, but he's got a he's got a clean fight. Yeah, he is faster than that Gengar, so he's good. Um, now he has the option of uh, either healing to full again, which he's probably going to do considering he bought all those full restores. Well, but he, he was uh, he was asking in chat that uh, w what range it would be. Oh, okay. So um, I think he actually wants to go for uh, for just enough HP, so he's in red bar. Yeah, so I guess so. I guess he's gonna heal to just enough to um, to uh, be in red bar after a hydro pump. Uh, One hundred and thirty-two. I'm, I'm not sure if that's enough. I'm not sure if that's enough either. Uh, he probably won't die unless it's a high roll. Uh, but I know it's 127 for the God Nido, and the Nido that he has has slightly worse special. But let's see if he's uh, he's able to get it. He'll, he'll most likely survive it, but there's a I think there's a chance that he could die to a non crit. And there's our victor of this race. GG. Oh yeah. Hello. So what were your thoughts on that race? Uh, I mean, I played pretty bad. I died <laughs> twice, and I kind of got wrecked on Route 1 with like, I got no encounters, but I had no XP. Yeah, yeah that was that was, <laughs> that was interesting. I got one encounter, and it was a level 4 rat, like, not fighting yeah. that thing. Yeah, in that case, you actually opted to, to you know, to run, which was... Something we probably all have, would have done. Yeah, I mean, it was the first trip, too. It's like, no way I'm fighting a level 4 rat on the first trip up. Then the, the Nidoran IGT-0 combined with having to look for an encounter made. <laughs> my time really bad. Yeah, that was rough. But you caught up pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, I played yeah. alright. I just... A lot of my menuing was really sloppy. Better. <laughs> It seemed like just kind of like an average race. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, yeah. I, I died twice. I got some good luck, some bad luck. <laughs> well, and Cruel actually finishing Lance as well. I I am curious what he'll do. Will he just? Uh, I didn't see what HP yeah. he was at. Oh, okay, he's full restoring. He's just yeah, going he's super restoring. safe. Uh -oh. I mean, there's no real reason to. Forest star here, but yeah, I think Cruel is just going for super safety now. Well, I, super, I guess, I guess forest star means you can use your X item when you get sky attack, but yeah, I mean, you just can just forest star in the sky attack. That sky, well, sky attack crit would still kill. Yeah, but if you are worried about like normal sky attack killing you, yeah, fair enough. So, uh, like, I think Cruel we'll just opted to do uh, the full restore, so he'd be a hundred percent sure that he uh, that he'd live. Uh, not that big a deal. That the, that being the case, I'm not sure why he bothered going for red bar on Lance. Eh. Did he like go out of his way? I didn't see. Yeah, he did. He used the potion and a super to oh, be in red bar for Lance. Because I mean, it saves you time on the four poke. You have to heal for Lance anyways, right? Uh, so you yeah, might as well did, get yeah. red bar for four Pokemon. Yeah, he did. He had. Uh... Oh, I think he just dot dunned on uh, the old timing. And you just dot undone to correct that. Did he? I don't, I don't uh, think anyone's gonna be holding red bar through to champion. That'd be crazy. Um. Dead to wing uh, attack crit. I think I I think I did that in my race, but I was already like eight minutes behind, so <laughs> yeah. it didn't really matter. In yeah, if, you, if, you, uh... if you need to desperately catch up or something, Blizzard Pidgeot to manipulate mirror move. Blizzard on you. <laughs> I I I actually I think we saw that. In an earlier race, I don't remember who it was. Yeah, apparently that's why you don't... You could, like, set up for red bar on Pidgeot by, like, spamming Earthquake. It has no effect, and you could, like, wait till you get red bar or something, but because of mirror move, you can't do that. Pidgeot will wreck your day. 
I remember um, using an X special in that fight and hoping Ice Beam would kill it. And then um, it didn't kill and it mirrored the Ice Beam back at me. And I lost like a, I lost like a 156 PV pace that, by doing that. <laughs> you forget so, yeah, about mirror move. done as well now. Go. I, if I just used Thunderbolt, I would have been fine. But no, I had to use Ice Beam. I guess we have no idea what his time is. It's like, what, 202, 201, something like that, probably? Uh, it's probably going to be a low 205. 205. I, yeah, I have no idea how long it's been. <laughs> but yeah, we'll just see when he dot duns. We'll find out soon enough uh, what his time would be. Oh. So did... I didn't... I wasn't watching the race. It sounded like Cruel died to Self Rival. Was that what happened? Yeah, yeah. he actually died to Self Rival. Had to go and buy uh, new X uh, items. Did he only buy the one X special? Is that what happened? Uh, I think he, he should might... have max accuracy unless he bought ten. Like yeah, I yeah, I think he bought ten. So okay. All right, so Cruel finishing uh, with a time of two oh five fifty three. Hey. hey! GG, buddy. GG. Thank you. That was rough. It was a good start, but... Yeah, it yeah. sounded like it was neck and neck up till, like... I guess up till... I, I don't know when the, the virgins happened. The, um, the biggest time loss and crew, I warned you for this, happened on cans. Nah, my biggest time loss was the fact that I just used the wrong X item. Fair, but, you know, uh, you were in the lead going... Yeah, well, um, you were basically, okay. you know, tied on going into the gym, and... Yeah, it sounded like we were neck not... and neck until then. Yeah. And, and Krul not using uh, Cadam and Ip actually lost him, I, yeah. I think, like, more than a minute. Yeah. Fair. Not using the Manip definitely lost me a lot of time this time around, but oh well. Yeah. It's, uh... You know, it happens. I don't... And then, I, yeah. I don't know if... I'm guessing red is different, but in yellow it's actually slower to do can manip. I don't know how much time you actually save on average can manip in red. Oh, it's because yellow cans are like probably like 80% to work or something like that. Yeah. Uh, like, it, can't be that much, it can't be that much slower on average. Occasionally you are. But the nice thing about it in a race is it comes with a free... Yeah, in case so you die gonna, or whatever. If you're going to save in front of Surge anyways, you might as well save yeah. and do can. Yeah. Um, well, still, it was a, a really, really good race from uh, from both of you. Yellow minips are also inconsistent because the in-game timer is weird. And uh, I think that's part of the reason why they don't do it. So, yeah, anything you guys actually are going to practice specifically for your next uh, races? Side candy? Probably not. No, not even cans. I just need to clarify my notes a little bit on which X item to use. Because I'm just red. Uh, yeah, I was actually X. like two minutes ahead of PV uh, at that point, and two minutes behind after Giovanni. So, you know, that's... Ouch. Like... I'm guessing the guide does say to use X special on that. But yeah, that's nah. just if you're setting up uh, red bar. My, my notes do say speed, because I, I have a okay. uh, doc with a couple of notes on the fights that I really don't know from the top of my head. That's one of them. And it says speed. I just misread it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, uh, awesome. that's quite something. That was my um, first run of Blizzard, so it was nice to actually not screw that up. <laughs> I've never. I I kind of practiced it, but I didn't actually like do a run. Oh, I I did a I did a quick peek at your PB before to see if you did it or not. So I I kind of thought you weren't gonna do it. Oh uh, yeah. Now my PB is kind of old. I've never actually finished a run of red without not dying. Fair Game's enough. Awful. I mean, prior to like a week ago, my PB was like close to two years old, I believe. So you know. Yeah. Yeah. And You're you one of the old school uh, runners. There's a lot of people who like have two plus year PBs. Yeah, I mean, I I last seriously ran way before Manips and all that was a thing. So yeah. You know, all in all, it's a half decent comeback, I suppose. 
Okay. So you lost four minutes or so on. Yeah, the, well, Giovanni's yeah, story. Yeah, lost me about four minutes. Yeah. So you know, if you take that off, I'll be like, it'll be a two two oh one, which yeah. would have been a PB, by the way. Yeah, and potentially even more because, well, yeah, after that. After you know. that, I started to make little mistakes everywhere. I just wasn't focused. Yeah. I probably could have PB'd until the Black Belt death. I thought I was going to PB from there. I was plus 45, but... I thought I was yeah. going to play better, and with uh -huh. Blizzard going to be able to catch back up, but then the Black Belt death and the Lance death. So. It's open for maybe a 154. Well, still, you got a sub to which, uh, in this tournament, is still a really good thing to get. Yeah, I mean... It's fine. It's a fine. Like you're gonna die in races. In yeah. races, you're gonna get random. Yeah. Well, you're still in like the top five. Like if I can have an average race time around 150, then like that's fine. So yeah, this uh, this was the first Pokemon match of today. I think the next one is gonna be. Unless you count on... the one that happened at midnight. Uh, it's actually already started, I believe. Yeah, it yeah. On, uh, speed it's, uh, yeah, it's over on Speedruns Live, and over on this channel we will have the A Link to the Past a Randomizer tournament going, continuing at 3.30pm. So, yeah, if you, you know, feel like watching Pokemon, then I suggest you go over to Speedruns Live right now. And, you know, if you just like awesome games and, you know, I guess you should do a multi-twitch of all the streams. As I think at Speed Gaming 1, there's also uh, either A Link to the Past or Donkey Kong Country. Which both are impressive on their own. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, I'm Zeta. I'm Elminster. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.